Carolyn Wilson, she has got no frigging idea. Absolutely no idea whatsoever. James Heard clearly needs his right of freedom of speech. Carolyn Wilson, if there's an Essendon supporter in the world that thinks she deserves to live, they are absolutely kidding themselves. There is no reason why she should be able to go under the cover of like an opinion piece and say James Heard is a dickhead or he shouldn't have done this or he shouldn't have done that. In my opinion, in my opinion, as an opinion piece here, Carolyn Wilson is an absolute fool. She's always buried for the Tigers. She's got a thing against Essendon. She's had it all her life. It was a birth defect, clearly. The bottom line at the end of the day is Jimmy is an absolute god. You could say, I've got a birth defect. He has come out from day one and said all the right things, placated all the people, supported his players, supported everybody. Who has she really supported? She hasn't supported football. She hasn't supported Essendon. She hasn't supported the concept of AFL football. She has absolutely got no idea. She should be sacked immediately. Full stop. Go. She suggested that the AFL has known about the, the Essendon peptides uh, for the past, since 2011. She suggested it because she suggests everything. She's got moles under the ground that give her little bits of information. She gets one little piece of information, one piece of information here. She adds the two pieces together and often they don't add up. Most intelligent people understand that happens in life. If it was true, how would you feel? It won't be true. If the it, bottom if it line, was... it won't... Oh, well, if it was true. I can entertain the thought as a rational person that it could be true. The reason why it can't be true is because the number of people at Essendon that are responsible that wouldn't let that happen make it almost a zero possibility that could be true. An absolute zero possibility, by the way. Brilliant, man. Well, look, I don't, don't think there's really much more that we can say there. The only, the only, thing, on the only thing I'd like to say about Carolyn Wilson. Mm. On the show, which Footy Classified, I've followed Footy for 50 years, it's clear, it's clear she needs something up to lift her profile to be, get her some credibility. I believe she's doing it through cra having a crack at Essendon. And I believe that it's time, like a Sam Newman would, you've got to be controversial. I understand that's her role in the media to provoke people into thinking things. But to have a go at somebody like she had a go at James Heard and to, to defame him, if that's the words everyone's going to use in the future, when Essendon ends up owning Telstra Dome, because there's an under, underhand deal done between Essendon and somebody that say that we won't sue Carolyn Wilson, we won't sue the paper, we won't sue the AFL for all the things that have gone wrong and defaming of the Essendon Football Club. When we end up owning this joint, no one actually bloody knows it, it'll be thanks to Carolyn Wilson. So I must admit, that could be a positive. Do you Cut think that she, out. Do you think she's ever got it right? I know, she's got it right in the past. She's often got it right. Her sources have been good. Her sources have been very, very good. In the past, I've listened. I've followed Footy, as I say, for 40 years. Often she has got it right, but on this one, I'm tipping she's completely wrong. Right. That's my my uh, option to tip that. Is there is there any is there any reason that you're tipping this in this case as compared to to the D's or? Well, okay, the okay. Then let's go with it. Let's go with the D's. The D, the D's, if they tanked, which they probably did, they get half a million, they give to the AFL. This year they'll get back two and a half million. So that'll put them two million in front if they go and get a coach. Essendon will pay a $1 million fine, $2 million fine to the AFL. What we'll never know is that in the next 10 years, to placate us, they'll probably have to pay us back 10 million per year, no one will ever know. When we've got the biggest grandstands, the biggest places, and we've been placated because Carolyn Wilson's got it wrong, the AFL's probably got it wrong, and Essendon are probably innocent, 99% chance they're innocent because the guys aren't idiots. Everyone running that football club aren't idiots. Therefore, when they've probably got it right, how do we know that we're not miles in front from this? Oh, that's a, that was rambling a bit. It's a you get what I'm saying. It's a Harrow. Heard. 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 Um, probably Heardy. Heard. Heard. Definitely not Caro. Neither of them. Heard. Caro. Heard. Caro's got no idea. Sorry. Heard. <laughs> Caro. Heard. 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 Uh, I'd have to say Caro. I'm Richmond supporter. Go Tigers! Go Tigers! What about you? I uh, heard because... Yeah. Just because. It's different to her. I, <laughs> I just like Caro that much.